Hello my viewers, today's guide will be all about this packer with bulletproof tires. Let's check out what's the deal here because the video will be quite information packed. To get this special vehicle you need to be on a mission called Mini Sub, which is marked on a map as HS and this time it's a setup mission for the Meriwether heist. It is unlocked with both approaches. You can find it at the tux of Los Santos on board a container ship called Daisy Lee. This does not work with the mission replay. So that packer is somewhat interesting since it had a pretty okay method for old versions but for some reason Rockstar made it a lot harder to get for the latest versions out there so be warned. The only special property it has are the bulletproof tires which cannot be applied on trucks normally. They are immune to bullets, fire and police stingers. If you play either Xbox 360 or PS3 you can get the truck very easily. Just start a mission and work your way up to the part where you are put inside the black packer. Since this is the packer we are here for, try to get Floyd out of the truck and drive off, leaving him behind. Eventually the mission will be failed for abandoning him and upon exiting you are still driving this packer and can freely store it to interior garage since it's the only place which fits it. However, if you try and do the same thing in the latest versions on PS4, Xbox One or PC, you will notice that when you exit the mission the packer simply won't be there. There is no logical reason for it and there's just Rockstar to blame for this. It also means we need to use a harder method to get this and this includes using garage mode. The garage mode is just a generalizing name used by special vehicle collectors to describe a rather glitched gameplay state. For this trick you of course need to have the interior garage bought. They are unlocked after the story mission father's son and cost $30,000. If you need money, I suggest using this location to collect the money briefcase. Just jump into water and on the sunken platform you will find a money bag worth of $7.5,000. You can come back here over and over until you have the money necessary to buy your garage. If you play any version from 1.0 up to 1.27, you can enter the garage mode quite easily. Just enter your garage and try to jump onto this tire rack until you get stuck. If successful, you will be teleported outside of the garage and eventually fall onto Los Santos streets. Unfortunately, jumping in your garage was patched with version 1.28, but no system is flawless and you can still enter the garage mode, however at the cost of more difficult method which has caused a lot of headache to many people. For this trick you need a small car that can enter the garage and a taxi. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. Uh, hey, if anything's available, I got time for a job. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. You will now again be placed into garage mode which is noticeable from black hard and it means that you can run around freely while the game still thinks you are inside of your garage. There is another method to enter garage mode and that involves pouring gas in front of your garage door then lightening that up and pressing enter garage on your bike. This is much easier but I do not suggest using this method much since it removes the HUD and it does not allow you pull up the interaction menu which is useful for many special vehicles. Regardless of your method, garage mode will always be and act exactly the same. Just like in garage normally, any vehicle you drive will be teleported to your garage as if you were taking it out from this. Only way to trick this mechanic is using an interaction menu. While you have it pulled up, you can in fact drive vehicles around, but the moment it closes and you are pressing gas, you will be taken out of garage mode, so be cautious. When inside garage mode, go and activate the mission either on foot or while using interaction menu. Bear in mind that since you cannot shoot the sub off the ship in garage mode, you will actually need to do the mission as you are meant to and release it using a switch on the ship. When that is done, try to get off the ship without being noticed and swim to your submarine. Ah! 
get inside it and as soon as the yellow dot appears on radar, exit it. You could actually casually just drive it to yellow dot while keeping interaction menu open, but since it's a very long route and game gives you various and annoying tips about using submarine controls which turn off the menu at random times, plus in some versions you cannot even sit inside the sub while the menu is down, let alone drive it, I decided to use a skip mission method which surely works for everyone without issues and is not much slower than driving the slow sub either. For this, you will have to abandon that sub to fail the mission and since the fail range of this setup is rather large, it's best to find a vehicle and take the route that I show, while keeping the interaction menu active. When you reach this area, the game will say don't leave the sub behind. Quickly break and get out of your vehicle to be safely on foot when you fail the mission. Press retry and do the same thing two more times, until while on third try, you can click skip mission when you fail. Press it and you will be placed in this same black packer. Press gas button and the game will think you take it out of your interior garage. At this point you can either fail and exit the mission or pass it, doesn't matter. But what does matter is that every vehicle you take out of your interior garage becomes impounded. Except for trucks. So why do I mention it? That's because Packer is the only truck in GTA 5 which for some reason can also be impounded. That must be a developer's oversight though, since it absolutely does not fit into impound and that's why getting this out of there may cause a bit issues. So if you go to the impound lot after either failing or passing the mission, you will see that the Packer is in there, but do not click on the option to take it out. Instead, just quick save your game in case stuff goes south later. In order to get this packer out properly, you need to use garage mode again. If in garage mode, just go to your impound and take it out. You need to hope it spawns on its wheels so you can enter it. I was lucky first try this time, but usually it spawns sideways and you need to run away until impound icon reappears and try again. It can rarely happen that packer actually flies out of the impound and falls under the map. In such case, it won't reappear in the impound so you have to reload your quicksave. You might wonder why is the garage mode needed and can't you just switch characters to get out of impound? Well, I've tried this few times in the past and I ended up spawning in hospital very often when switching back, with no packer anywhere to be seen. So yeah, garage mode is a lot more safe. If successfully out however, store it into interior garage since Floyd's apartment is not a permanent storage unit and it's not really convenient to put it there anyway. Also note that in versions where you can't store the packer into interior garage, you will need to keep it in impound all the way till hang 10, which unlocks the strip club parking lot which can fit that packer perfectly. I will describe how to store it into interior garage now. The method to do this will again be version dependent. If you play the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3, storing big vehicles is rather easy. All you gotta do is just park your vehicle in front of the garage door, get out and get back inside. Don't press any buttons until the engine ignites and if it does, just press enter garage button since the option to do so will still be on the screen. Unfortunately, this got patched and the enter garage option no longer stays on screen if you press the enter vehicle button. Sadly, big vehicles cannot be stored into those carriages in later versions all the way until garage entry animations got added. So if you have such version and you have no space to store your big vehicle in, just skip it. With the addition of garage entry animations though, Rockstar made storing trucks possible again, unintentionally of course, and that method is more complex than the old 1.0 method. For this trick, you of course need your big vehicle, a small vehicle which can enter the garage and a taxi. Try to place your vehicles same way as shown here. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. 
Right after you exit, try and run into your big vehicle as quickly as you can. If you fail, you can try this again, but I assure you, this is not an easy trick to pull off. And if you need further information, I have a video which is dedicated to that glitch specifically. This trick works with all three characters. However, it is a bit more tricky to do with Michael. When storing this backer though, it will usually spawn sideways in interior garage too. However, simply exiting and entering the garage will eventually spawn it on wheels and make it ready for use. For the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle depends. It's very easy for Xbox 360 and PS3, but for other platforms, garage mode and impound nonsense might seem very technical and annoying at first. Do I suggest having this vehicle for a save? Not really, there are tons of cooler and easier trucks out there. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.